Will Amazon Relay be a weak season or a real peak season this year? Let's get into it. It's Peak Fix TV. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. It's Peak Fix TV. Welcome to my What's up, fam? It's Domi Big Vic, and we are back in the building with another video. I know y'all like, yo, what's going on with peak season? Where's the numbers at? Like, where's the bread at? Where's the bread that y'all was talking about like it was last year? So we already know things is looking different than it was last year. Of course, y'all know we had a lot of other money floating around. So that peak season was, was real monstrous and real crazy last year. So this year, rates look like they're lower. It's not not even looking like they're lower but so far the rates are lower i'm looking at amazon relay looking at the load board i haven't seen any lows that have been indicating that we're in peak season and if we are in peak season i know it's not christmas time yet but we this is kind of like around the time not really maybe we still got a couple more weeks to go just to to see if numbers start moving in a different direction it, it could it could hit in december um, we ha we'll just have to wait and see. But as of right now, I'm not seeing any numbers indicating that we're in, in any type of peak season. I know you guys probably have some other concerns, like as far as what freight is doing right now out in the market. Freight's a little lower. Like I'm seeing freight being a little lower, like some of the numbers that I've been seeing. Freight is definitely not looking like it was looking last year around this time. And last year, freight outside of Amazon, I really wasn't running that type of freight last year around this time i really was running 99 percent of the freight i ran last year was amazon freight in terms of that other freight when i do catch freight out here the numbers i'm seeing is good for my business right so so let me clarify that right real quick let me clarify what i mean by the numbers that i see is good for my business if i post a number right and that number that i post for my business you don't feel like is good for your business guess what that's your business not my business the numbers I post is good for my business. And number two, if you're sitting in a rental truck and you're paying these outrageous weekly rates for your rental truck, the rates I run for, you're not going to be able to run for those same rates. We not the same, bro. I'm saying that because I don't like when people jump in my comments and try to tell me the, the freight that I'm running. I'm running cheap freight, bro. You have to make more money per load for your loads to make sense for you. We not on the same page, all right? We, we don't run the same. We don't run the same. So don't compare what I do to what you do. Remember that video I made a while back and I said, everybody's gonna run their businesses differently. Cats coming in and coming in here talking about they've been studying for a year and what does that mean? Th that doesn't necessarily mean anything just cause you've been doing something for a year. Like get out of here with that, bro. What happens when you come over here with that? Y'all already know I'm, I'm gonna hit you with the blizz out. You know what I'm saying? You gonna join the block party, bro. Don't come over here with that. Quick ran over with, quick ran over with. What I would do right now, as far as like the rates that I'm seeing, what I would do as owner operators, what you can do to kind of offset that is pay very close attention to, pay close attention to your deadhead. Keep your eyes on the deadhead miles that you are not getting paid for. If you want to negotiate as much more money as you possibly can in the current, in the current state that we're in right now. I'm going to sum a lot of this up for y'all. The carriers that have the lowest cost to operate right now will be the ones making the most money. Period. So if you're on an operator and your overhead to run your cost per mile to operate your vehicle, to crank up that truck, the ones with the lowest operating costs, those are the ones that's, that are going to be winning when rates are not as high as they were or until they start going back up. You get what I'm saying? So when you come into the business, the lower your cost to operate, the better you're going to perform, the better you're going to do, the more money you're going to be able to retain. If we don't start seeing rates jump higher, especially with Amazon Relay for those of us that do run Amazon Freight, I feel like uh, we don't start seeing them jump at least by the end of November going into December, which I think we should start seeing an increase. But as of right now, like as at the moment, what I'm seeing on the load board is regular, regular loads, regular freight number, like regular numbers that Amazon always runs. Nothing spectacular, nothing to get excited about. We still want to be looking at 
that rate per mile. We want to pay attention to that rate per mile, rate per mile, rate per mile with the least amount of deadhead. That's always going to be the name of the game. Always going to be the name of the game. Least amount of deadhead, best rate per mile to run any load. Like you may see a load here and, you know, a load pop up here and there. I'm talking about loads that like on outside of Amazon, you may see loads here and there that pop up that may be paying really, you know, paying really good. If you can catch those loads with the box trucks. Um, but as I said before, it's still going to be about the relationships that you have with these, uh, with certain brokers that have access to the loads. I'm not saying go into panic mode right now or anything like that, but know your numbers. I keep seeing different news where it says a lot of truckers are, a lot of truckers are getting out of the game. Like a lot of truckers are not going to be driving right now. And what that's going to do, that may open up doors for some of, you know, some new owner operators out here. It should open up some more doors for new owner operators. Because you figure the less semis rolling, the more opportunities there may be for box trucks to start moving some of this freight, especially, you know, some of you box truck owner operators that have, you know, higher boxes on the back of your, uh, uh, on the back of your box, on the back of your truck. So, you know, I feel like it's going to be, uh, just hang in there, hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. Don't, don't get, don't, don't get scared. Don't get scared. It's one of these, this is one of these, uh, industries where things go up, things may come back down. But like I said, you got to maintain that balance. You got to be able to balance accordingly with your business and keep moving, keep moving. Even if you can, even if you can break even and just make something, as long as you're making something, anything beats a blink in my book. Anything beats a blink. Stack that bread, stack that paper. Like I've always said, continue to stack your money when they're going, when they're getting is good, you got to stack it, make your bag, put it to the side. Make your bag, put it to the side. That's pretty much what, you know, that's pretty much how I'm looking at things right now. And that's how I'm assessing things as of right now. Uh, and, and, and with Amazon and other freight rates, be cautious of the type of freight that you are running. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your numbers make sense for your business. If it doesn't make sense for your business, don't run it. Keep your main thing the main thing. You feel me? This is my my humble opinion you know sometimes when i when i say things other 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 people that are in the space begin to you know start picking my words out and start doing what they want to do with with, with like with what i say you feel me yeah you know i'm saying like round robins <laughs> like creating creating round robin loads people get people get mad when i create saying shout out to the mad box truck uh owner operator congrats on the new truck <laughs> Oh, bad. This man said he don't like people. He don't like y'all. He don't like y'all. Okay? Don't like y'all. You can't take that back. You done said it now. Like when I say things, people try to say, I'm, this community is funny right here. This community is hilarious to me. Yeah, man. That's. I just wanted to put my two cents in this thing real quick. And um, let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. Are you still running? Are you, you, you catching good rates? If you run an Amazon Relay, how's your how's your Amazon Relay business doing right now? You know what I'm saying? Like they they got they keep putting different rules out out here um, for owner operators, you know. So you got to either roll with the punches or don't roll with them at all, you know. And uh, that's how I see it right now. That's how I see it right now. This is my take. This is my two cents. Is it gonna be a Weak season, or are we gonna see a real peak season? I don't know. It's to be determined right now. But as of right now, Big Vic don't see it. I don't see. It. I'm sure y'all don't see it either. If y'all running, if y'all running afraid out there, um, with Amazon anyway. Uh, let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section, man. Shout out, shout out to everybody. Shout out to y'all. If y'all out there still getting it, getting to the bag, getting to the money, we still doing what we got to do over here. Y'all know what it is, man. We always gonna hustle. We never gonna stop growing. You feel me? To the next video. Always hustle, never stop growing. Till I see you on the next one. Let's go, let's get it, let's eat.